Good evening. I'm Chris King, the Dean of Analytics and one of the expert handicappers at Winners and Winers, and I'm here with my free pick of the day for Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022. That's right, we're back. I know I've been gone for a little bit. I've been doing a lot of other projects that have kind of taken up my time and haven't been able to get on here to do these, but hopefully I'll have some time in the near future to get back to doing these a little bit more consistently. Uh, our last free pick was back on July 22nd when Adam Wainwright and the Cardinals screwed us over, ending our streak of seven straight wins as they fell to the Reds at the Great American Ballpark. Uh, Tuesday night in, on the premium side, uh, Corbin Burns apparently forgot where the strike zone was as he threw just 53 strikes out of 103 pitches, walked five and hit two guys, a five-run sixth inning for Pittsburgh making the difference in the contest as the Pirates took a 5-3 win, handing Burns his first loss of his career against Pittsburgh. He was 6-0 and with a 2.63 ERA in 18 appearances, seven, or six starts coming into that one. So we'll look to get back on the proper side of the ledger in both of those occasions today. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell on YouTube. Uh, feel free to chime in with your comments about about the pick for the day, some of the other games on the slate, and let me know what you might be betting on as we go into Wednesday. Just a heads up, Wednesday loaded with early games. There are eight games that start by 2.10 p.m. Eastern, so more than half the slate will be have a first pitch uh, before the middle of the afternoon. Makes it a little bit tougher for evening games. So today we're going to take a look at a battle of two teams from the American League that are in the thick of the playoff race as the Seattle Mariners finish up their three-game series in the Bronx against the Yankees. Of course, these teams met Monday night when we saw New York roll to a 7-2 win as they beat up on Marco Gonzalez. The Mariners countered on Tuesday night, roughing up Jamison Tyone and then getting to the Yankees' bullpen in an 8-6 victory the Yankees had the bases loaded with two outs in the bottom of the ninth, only to see Gleyber Torres strike out to end the ball game. Now we're going to get a good, pretty good pitching matchup in this one. The Mariners are going to send Luis Castillo to the mound. They picked him up at the end of last week from the Reds in an effort to bolster their rotation. Uh, he's been pretty good. He's made 14 starts on the year. He's 4-4 four and four with a 2.86 earned run average, a 1.071 whip, 28 walks, and 90 strikeouts over 85 innings. He did pick up the win in his last outing. In his final pit, uh, start for the Reds, which came at home against Miami last week, throwing seven innings, giving up three runs on six hits with a walk and eight strikeouts, the Reds won that one 5-3. He's pitched well of late, 1-0 with a 2.14 earned run average, 0.86 whip, 6 walks and 24 strikeouts over 21 innings in his last three starts. He doesn't have a ton of experience with the Yan against the Yankees. He's made just two starts against them in his career. He's 0-1 with an ERA of 3, a whip of 1.25, 6 walks and 10 strikeouts over 12 innings in those outings. Both those outings have come at Yankee Stadium, so he has seen the dimensions there. Uh, Castillo, you know, a really good get for the Mariners. The question is, will the offense bail them out? Meanwhile, the Yankees will send their ace to the hill in Garrett Cole. Cole makes his 22nd start of the year. He's 9-3 and with a 3.30 earned run average. A 1.029 whip. He's walked 32 and fanned a league leading 162 over 125 and a third innings. His last start was a rough one against, of all teams, Kansas City. Uh, how do you struggle against a Royals team that has no no guys that uh, strike fear in their lineup? He went six innings, gave up five runs on seven hits, walked none, struck out nine. The Yankees did go on to win the game by an 11 5 score. Uh, in his last three starts, Cole's just 1-1 one one with a 474 earned run average, a 1.16 whip, but he's only walked two while striking out 27 over 19 innings in that three-start uh, stretch. He's pitched well against the Mariners in his career, 6-2, and two, a 1.86 earned run average, a 0 0.714 whip, eight walks, 81 strikeouts, that's not a typo, 81 strikeouts in 63 innings of work. 
when it comes to pitching at Yankee Stadium in his career, Cole is 15 and 7 with a 2.75 ERA, a 0.983 WHIP, 39 walks, 257 punchouts, over 196 and a third innings in 32 career starts. Now let's be honest. When we're looking at this one, you've got two good pitchers on the mound. You could even call them great pitchers. Hell, if you want, you can call them elite pitchers. That's all well and good. You can call that a wash. Castillo has been great pitch, especially when you consider he's pitched half his games in Cincinnati, a hitter's ballpark. Now, even if we call that a wash, that's great. But the problem is you look at the lineups, Seattle 23rd in the majors with 4.02 runs per game. They're 23rd in runs per game on the road at 4.04. Meanwhile, you're looking at the Yankees who lead the majors in runs per game at 5.37. They're a little bit better at home at 5.39. So when you break it down, even if the pitching is a wash and you just look at it that way, the Yankees have been more productive at the plate by a wide margin. The one thing Jerry DePoto didn't do at the trade deadline is get an impact bat to put in that lineup. You know, they were out on Soto early, which makes sense. They weren't going to give up that kind of uh, haul and return. Um, but they didn't get Wilson Contreras. They didn't get Ian Happ. They didn't get anybody that was going to be uh, an impact bat in there. And don't tell me that Kurt Casale is the guy, because he's not. Um, that's their problem here. They they can bank it. They're going to try to bank on Mitch Hanniger coming back. Hanniger's played nine games all season. If you're trying to get him to catch fire, you're playing with it. Because, let's face it, there's two months to go in the year. You're trying to hang on to a wild card spot. You needed a bat. That's going to boil down to be the difference in this game. I don't see Seattle putting up eight runs like they did Tuesday night. I'm going to take the Yankees behind Cole at home. Because, let's face it, if you're going to look at those lineups with no Julio Rodriguez uh, in, the, in the mix for Seattle, you look at, at the Yankees with Judge and Rizzo and LeMayhew and Matt Carpenter suddenly thinks it's 2012 again. And, um, you know, Jose Trevino is having a career year. And you've got Josh Donaldson. And you've got Torres. And there's no real weak spots in that lineup. Give me the Yankees uh, going at around minus 165, minus 170, depending on the book, uh, to win the rubber game and take the series. Now, with that said, would it surprise me if Seattle hung around? No, but their bullpen, you know, I don't have a ton of faith in. So I'm going to stick with New York as much as I hate to say it. Now, on the premium side, my best bet today is going to be a battle of National League teams as the Reds and Marlins finish up a three-game set down in South Beach. Uh, that pick, along with the picks of our other experts, you know, Scott Steen and uh, David Delano, Sean Miller, Arthur Reyes, you know, the whole gang, Ben the Penn Hayes. Uh, we've all got picks available, uh, $49.99. But if you watch for watching the video today, you can use the uh, code br 8 HP9R that's BR8HP9R and I'll save you 50% that's 25 bucks um, don't ask me who came up with the code I wish they would have just based something off of our names to make it a little easier but what can you do right um, as always make sure you shop lines at your available sports books because there's going to be fluctuation around depending on where your what book is available to you uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow night with another free pick. Uh, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll never have to go looking for the next video because you'll be notified as soon as it becomes available. For Winners and Winers, I'm Chris King. We'll catch you next time.